We leave 2020 with a strange feeling. While everything turned out differently than predicted, we also realized that our hobby could continue despite all measures. Many people, including koi breeders, have worked very hard this year to ship the new koi fish worldwide. One of those breeders is the Shintaro Koi Farm. Well, breeders in Japan have to cope with the second snowstorm in a short time, breeders indoor are working hard on their new crop of tosai. When the snow has melted, they are released into the mud ponds in early spring. We will go back in time for a moment, to be precise, to the 17th of October 2020. We are guests at a Sansai harvest of the Shintaro Koi Farm. We ride with Masaro and Kensuke Saito to a high mud pond in the Yamakoshi Mountains. The ride to the mud pond starts dry. This mud pond mainly contains of koi with the Sanka variety. For months these koi have been able to enjoy a large pond that is filled with fresh meltwater and neutral protein sources. During the warm summers, the breeders feed their koi with a high quality koi food. Most breeders alternate the types of koi food so that the koi fish receive right nutrients. The target? Get the koi as big as possible in the most healthiest way. It is time to slowly unfold the net and launch it into the mud pond. This mud pond has been deflated for about 90%. One or two days before the harvest, Masato's son ensures that all the water disappears into the valley. The tanks on the back of the specially prepared vehicles are filled with fresh water from the greenhouses, ready to receive the koi from the mud pond. This pond is surrounded by a number of other ponds that it makes it easy to empty one or more ponds in a day during the busy harvest season. Kosuka-san literally takes the lead while Masaru Saito watches is everything going well. If you run too fast or a koi escapes, you have to go through the entire process once again. One by one the koi are removed from the mud pond. The skin quality and build of these fish are absolutely stunning. While the fish calmly recover, the sons of Masaru-san ensure that the supply of koi can continue in a calm manner. As strange as it may sound, the rain creates a pleasant atmosphere during the harvest. One sanka surprises the other. I am amazed at the quality of the skin. The color splash off your screen. Absolutely great. My eyes fall on a great Tansho. The build of this koi is absolutely phenomenal. Well, the men downstairs get the last koi from the pond, Masaru prepares the transport to the koi house. Once back at the koi house, it is time to take a good look at the koi. 
the breeder will decide which koi to sell and which koi to keep. The unsought koi will stay with the breeder for even longer time. This means that the breeder sees potential in these fish and therefore he keeps them with them for a longer time. Maybe a year or even maybe longer. I have specially selected the following videos for you to watch right now. The main harvest with the fish from almost a meter and one of our latest documentaries from Japan. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and I see you at the next video. Arigato!